Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with text and pictures in Reaper. Now, one of the things you might not know is that we can add text right on our tracks to tell us what's going on on our tracks. Like, for example, I have some drums here, a bass, a guitar, and a vocal. And sometimes I want to see that a bit clearer. And the track names over here aren't big enough. We can put the names of the tracks right over here. And if you're like me, you tend to record not at bar one. So we have a little room to work with. So let me show you how to do it. I would start by selecting from about here to here on this track, go to the insert menu and choose empty item. And that creates an empty item right on that track. Then we could double click it and we could type text right into that item. Like for this track, we can call it kick. And then go down over here and choose stretch to fit item. This will make the text big enough to fill the box. So let's choose that and close it. And now it looks like this. So even if you zoom out a bit, we can still see what's on that track. And then what I usually do is duplicate it and put it on every track, like this. Notice it picks up the color of that track. So we can name this one snare, this one overheads, and so on. And now if you zoom out, we can still see with big text what's on each track. And we can use this for so much more. Like let's say you want to remember what microphone you used to record these tracks. Like on my kick track, maybe I used a Bader 52A. I could put that right on the track. This way I could remember what microphone I used. Maybe the bass track was a DI. I could label that as well. Or we could also label some track notes, like this vocal right here. Maybe I want to redo a section. I might want to make a note of that in this item. Just add it right here. And then we could refer to it later on in case we need that note to remember. In this case, to redo the second verse. It's kind of handy to have this. And we could also put pictures right in these items. Like for instance, let's say on this vocal, I used a mic preamp, and I want to remember the settings that I used. I could double click it, go to load, I could load a picture of my settings. In this situation, I use my phone to quickly take a picture of a mic preamp. So it looked like this. I could see my settings right here and remember them if I have to re record a section of that vocal. So at any point, I could just double click this item and see that picture and recall those settings. Or if you created recall sheets, let's say on my snare, I added some pull tech EQ and I want to remember that setting. Open it up, load in a picture of my pull tech for my snare, which looks like this. It's a recall sheet that I can mark up for my settings. I could save that in this item as well. And anytime I want to recall it, just double click it, and it's right there. And we could also put these pictures right on the track. Let's create some room right here. And let's drag it in from my directory. Right here, the pull tech, and just drop it. Now this picture is right here. Now if you zoom in, it's kind of hard to see it, but what you could do is use a keystroke, which is selecting it and typing underscore, or shift dash on the QWERTY keyboard. And that zooms that item to be full screen so you can easily see it. Hit it again, goes back to normal. Let's do the same thing on my vocal, make it a bit smaller, drag it in from the directory, for my mic presetting, then just select it, shift dash or underscore, it zooms in so we can see that picture. It's kind of handy. And we can see that the picture's there by placing it on the track. And we could also use text to more easily see our song sections. 
You could obviously create markers up here or regions up here, but sometimes you want to see it a bit bigger. So create a new track. I'll right click it and lock the track controls because I'm not going to use them. Put it at the top. Then I'll create an empty item up here. Insert empty item. I'll make it real big. Double click it. Name the first section verse one. Stretch to fit item. Then I'll split it based on the sections by typing S in a few sections and rename each one. Like pre chorus one and chorus one. And we could also put notes on this track. Maybe we want to remind ourselves to fade out starting here. Just label it so we can remember. Then we can add colors by selecting them all, right click, item and take colors, and choose random colors. And that adds colors to our song parts. So we can zoom in and out in different sections and see where we are in the song, or where our fade out is gonna start. Kinda handy to have a separate track dedicated for that, which we can resize based on our needs. And we could also use text to create notes for pieces of audio. Like down over here, I have a sound effect. And let's say I want to remind myself that I have to redo this. I can just select from here to here on this track, create an empty item, and put our notes right in here. Like I want to redo it. And now I'll remember I have to redo this sound effect. Even if I zoom out, I can quickly see that I have to redo it. Now we could put notes right in our items, like in here. Just select it, right click it, go to item settings, and choose item notes. And we could put notes right in here. And we could see that there's notes in here as this button will appear. And we can click that button to see our notes. And we could add a picture here as well. And you could use it as a background. And it shows up like this behind the audio. And finally, I like to use text for separated tracks. Let me show you. Let's get rid of the stuff here. And let's say we have a lot of tracks in our project. So it can be hard to manage or see what section we're working with. We can create these tracks, I call them dummy tracks, as separators between each group of tracks. So for this one, maybe I want to label that all the tracks below it are drums. So I'll create an empty item right here. Let's label it all drums. That shows up right here. Make this pretty big and then split it every few bars. Just so when we zoom in, we can still see it. So now I know that everything below here are the drum tracks. Then I could duplicate this and put that after the drums and label this all instruments. So we could zoom in and see that all our drums are here and all our instruments are here. And we could do that for organization purposes so you can quickly see what tracks are what. I think it's kind of helpful to have these text items or our pictures right on our tracks. So we can quickly see our settings or what tracks we're working with. So that's pretty much it. That's working with text and pictures in Reaper. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.